hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel salesforce and this is rohit and today i'm going to show you in app guidance in salesforce so this is a very most important feature inside the salesforce so if you need to work through or single promote or if you have some records or you want to show these records with your user or something like that in your customer so it's a very most important uh, you know concept in Salesforce so Salesforce in app guidance is an out-of-box functionality tool the employers Salesforce admin and the power of the user to the migrate prompt and view all the profile permissions to create custom training for the user imbalances right so onboarding displaying on the Salesforce lightning page like prompt here the big advantages of the functionality of this you know app guidance so you can use it and you can walk through using this uh, lightning in app guidance in Salesforce so let's get started without any further delay in this video so if you are new in this video so please subscribe my youtube channel for more updates and please hit the bell icon for more updates and uh, uh, watch this video until end if you want to learn something new so let's get started without any further delay so here I'm just logged in into my Salesforce or right so how to enable this uh, in app guidance in Salesforce so very simple you have to go to the setup so you have to click on this setup button and once you click on this setup button you have to find out under the quick find that is called in app guidance so how to do that so under here in the quick find just search in app so once you search in app now immediately under the user engagement you can see this option that is called in app guidance so just click on this in app guidance and you will be see some you know uh, next screen or you, we can say that like uh, some UI uh, for this app guidance so just wait for some time so just click on this in app guidance and you will be see this in app guidance here so if you want to learn something new inside this in app guidance so you can learn from here as well and you can click on this tell me more and it automatically direct the Salesforce doc as well so under the setting just let me click on this setting you can see the default one so you have to maintain each and every functionality by default here let's say deployment between the app guidance Salesforce standard app and custom in app guidance so leave it as it is for now here if you want to see and if you want to take some demo from here so you can play this video and you can learn something from here as well about this in app guidance so let me create a new in app guidance for this you know this one so just click on this add button and once you click on this add button it's automatic redirect that uh, app builder guidance builder right so just here you can see different types of options in app guidance builder navigate to page within an app the click the add and you can see like on this page or on this application based on your requirement you can choose it right so for now let me duplicate this tab and let me go to the first of all the account record page because I need to take this account record page as a app guidance in your better understanding purpose right so just click on this Burlington record page so here you can see this is the Burlington record here under the account object right so under here just you can click this one and click on this new right so under this one uh, let me remove it and click on this add button and once you click on this add button so it's automatic comes here so you can add it let's say this one or this page based on your requirement you can use it so let me click on this account first of all here and open any records if you have like this okay just click on this add here add button and you can see two types of in app guidance in Salesforce one is single prompt and walkthrough so single prompt you can see each and every steps in a single screen but in walkthrough it's automatic redirect or you know like step by step guide of each and every functionality inside this page so let me select this first of all this single prompt just click on the next button here you can see the floating prompt so immediately you can see this uh, pop-up here right this is regarding our you know uh, this app guidance so just here you can see the floating prompt dogged and targeted so let me select first one by default and now you can see this page this app this page any app any app or any app any page any app or any page this app so based on your requirement you can choose it so let me take this like this page any app 
okay it can be anything like sales service or console application based on your requirement you can choose it and where you want to show this pop-up let's say bottom center top left it's an automatic redirect here you can see uh, top center you can see top center here let me select this top center here immediately here right so based on your requirement you can choose it and custom theme so let me click on this checkbox and you can change this custom theme because of you know like dark and something like that so immediately you can see like dark and light based on your requirement you can choose it right so once you selected this type of option here just click on the next button and give the title so this is the your title goes here so let's say demo app guidance right guidance something like that right so this is the title of this application so just remove it here and you can see the demo app guidance right and if you want to give some summary of this you know like a record page about this gu app guidance so you can give let's say this is record page of the account something like that right so immediately you can see your changes here right as well here you can see the title as well right so you can make it as a bold if you need it you can make it as a italic or underline something like that based on your requirement you can choose there are so many options here right and under the media if you have like some images of your application so you can upload from here just click on this upload file and now you can see I just uploaded my photo here once you upload this photo just click on this done button so it automatically will enable once this file is done so just click on done so immediately you will be see my image here if you have like a record page image or something like that regarding this you know uh, application so you can use it right now I'm using my image that's why you can see my image here and you can maintain this uh, image layout let's say image above body tags something like that image uh, like image below body tags and image left right something like that so right now I'm using this one so you can see immediately here and you can drag and drop some somewhere as you want here right so once you've done it now you have to do like dismissible button level so right now you can see like dismissible right so just make it like get it right and click on this you know save button once you modify each and every functionality inside this application just you have to do one thing just click on this save button and resolving error okay so what is the error here let's see so you have to give alternative text so let's say demo right once you've done it just click on this save button and here you can see lots of steps like action schedule profile permissions and, and details so leave it as it is by default just click on the next and you can schedule this uh, you know like app guidance uh, like uh, for forward or something like that or end date or start date based on your requirement and here this is the very most important setting that is called so when the page is loaded after one second so just check this one click on the next click on the next again this is the permission and restriction profiles so just leave it as it is and now here you can see this is another best feature or we can say that uh, you have to remember in your mind this is you it should be activated always otherwise you will be not get these things right so let's say demo app guidance okay guidance something like that so just let me copy this guidance spelling here right let me remove it and just paste it here right so once you've done it you can give any description here you can see the uh, read only URL you can just copy and paste it anywhere as you want just click on the save button once you saved it now you can see immediately our demo app guidance prompt has been saved just click on this done once you've done it now you have to refresh your you know in app guidance so just refresh this page and you will be see my in app demo in app guidance here because we already created this in-app guidance inside the Salesforce hub, right? So once you've done it, now you will be see this uh, one records inside this in-app guidance. So once you've done it, just you have to review your application or app, uh, like app guidance, and you will be get to know more about it, right? So once you've done it, now you can see my like one item inside my in-app guidance. So you will be see here like added clone like preview 
reset matrix there are so many options right so if you need like modification of this one so you can just click on this edit button and you can modify right so how to use this in-app guidance inside Salesforce so once you created this in-app guidance just you have to do one thing if you have already selected this account record page just you have to refresh it and immediately after one second it will become as a pop-up here so once you've done it now you will be see one pop-up here so here immediately now you can see my pop-up like demo app guidance and this is the uh, you know description and get it button right you can it's no just like based on your need like 20 minutes one hour or based on your requirement and you can click on this get it so it's automatic disappear so here you can see the immediately it's come here right just click on this get it now it's automatic disappear so here you can see the settings if you need any help regarding this one please reach out to me and please i hope you learn something new in this video and if you like this video so please subscribe my youtube channel for more updates and please Till then, bye-bye, take care, see ya, thank you for watching guys.